President Donald Trump said late Monday night that Republicans are working on a new health care plan but won't introduce it until after the 2020 election. Everybody agrees that Obamacare doesn't work. Premiums and deductibles are far too high really bad health care. Even the Dems want to replace it, but with Medicare for all, which would cause 180 million Americans to lose their beloved private health insurance, Trump said on Twitter. There is no evidence that there is another health care reform proposal coming from the GOP. The Republicans are developing a really great health care plan with far lower premiums, cost, and deductibles than Obamacare. In other words it will be far less expensive and much more usable than Obamacare. Vote will be taken right after the election, when Republicans hold the Senate and win back the House. It will be truly great health care that will work for America. Also, Republicans will always support pre-existing conditions. The Republican Party will be known as the party of great health care. Meantime, the USA is doing better than ever and is respected again. Trump statements come a week after his administration announced that it now agreed with a judge's ruling that the entire Affordable Care Act should be scrapped. The opinion was a dramatic reversal from the administration's previous stance that only portions of the act could not be defended. Trump has been stymied on one of his primary campaign promises to repeal the signature law of his predecessor despite multiple attempts in Congress. Trump attempted on multiple occasions to repeal Obamacare during 2017, when his party was in control of both chambers of Congress, but failed to do so due to a lack of support within his own party. The failed attempts proved to be a galvanizing force for Democrats in the 2018 midterms. Healthcare was the top issue for Democratic and independent voters, and focusing on the issue helped Democrats take over the House in January. The president has insisted in recent days that, despite his administration's position that all of the ACA should be struck down, the GOP will be the party of health care. He's also repeatedly promised to protect people with pre-existing conditions, a provision that would be eliminated if the federal district judge's ruling in a Texas case is upheld on repeal. Trump said Thursday he's asked Republican senators to work on a replacement to the Affordable Care Act, but no such group appears to exist. Multiple Republican senators who Trump name-checked said they were not a part of a working group but had spoken with the president about health care recently. And on Wednesday, Mark Short, Vice President Mike Pence's chief of staff and the former White House Legislative Affairs Director, claimed on CNN that the president will be putting forward plans this year to replace Obamacare through Congress. White House officials were quick to tell CNN that Short had gotten ahead of White House deliberations. The White House has yet to decide whether it will take the lead on crafting an Obamacare replacement, they said, or whether the president will punt to Republican lawmakers.